For the second straight day, President Bush has met with top generals to review the situation in Iraq. The meeting Saturday at the White House included Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld and General John Abizade, top U.S. commander in the Middle East, among others. The review comes amid a fresh spike in U.S. combat deaths and sectarian bloodshed in Iraq. The administration says it isn't trying to change the course in Iraq, but perhaps just amend the tactics. October could become the deadliest month for U.S. service members in Iraq in two years. In one attack Saturday, Iraqi police say at least 18 people died when mortar rounds pounded a crowded outdoor market south of Baghdad. Bush spoke about the war Friday during a surprise appearance at a National Italian American Foundation dinner. In order to protect America, we must stay on the offense against the enemy and give our professionals the tools necessary to protect you. Rumsfeld said the biggest mistake the U.S. could make would be to not pass things over to the Iraqis. It's their country. They're going to have to govern it. They're going to have to provide security for it. And they're going to have to do it sooner rather than later. And that means they've got to take pieces of it as we go along. The White House insists Saturday's meeting with top generals was routine and it isn't looking to change the overall strategy or goals in Iraq. Tim McGuire, the Associated Press.